Good morning. Welcome back to this vlog. As you can see, we've um, returned uh, to our favorite spot. Um, we shot many of the um, videos for Away with Occult and Magic. In this location, um, when we started over a year ago, and um, obviously we're back. The weather is now beautiful, sunny in Malta. Idyllic, one might say. So we thought we'd return to our favorite spot and shoot a couple of videos from here. Now today I wanted to address a particular topic and this topic is the occult fraternity but more so the problems that we are encountering in the occult fraternity because we have a lot of institutions and a lot of people who are out there preaching, practicing and telling all kinds of things and even issuing literature and books um, selling demons as if they were hotcakes and basically giving a very bad name to the occult fraternity, to the occult society as we try to reinforce, as we try to get stronger as we try to make headways and propagate Luciferianism and any other kind of esoteric study across the world to be able to solidify our position and give people an alternative to what is the norm but to be able to do that, we need to be credible in ourselves. Now, some might say that this is me going to war against such fraternities and such orders and organizations and people who propagate that they know anything and everything about the occult, or even better, the subject of Luciferianism. So let's start looking a bit in depth about these people that are propagating such wonderful knowledge that they believe that they can go out there and um, practice and preach and tell everybody else how to live yet they live a lot of question marks about actually where they originated from who they are where the knowledge came from credence and credibility is something which is paramount in our foundations the COL itself, the Church of Lucifer, has got a tradition, history. It is also founded deeply and, I might say, most probably, the only legitimate Luciferian church, Luciferian organization out there today. Many have come, many have gone. The COL was there, it went quiet for some time. The history is varied, but it's kept going strong, it maintained its values, its credibility, and it's back again, and getting stronger and stronger. At this stage I have to talk to you a bit about these, 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 one or two organizations, these people, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna make, 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 um, I'm gonna make examples, but at the same time I'm not trying to, to, in any way, shape or form, um, belittle anybody, because this is not what we do. But uh, it, it does bring a lot of questions to mind and I want you guys to start thinking a bit more before you start following people blindly about where these people have come from. So Thomas Carlson, Dragon Rouge, as I understand well, he was born in 1972, established Dragon Rouge in 1989. Dragon Rouge is, if one looks at it, a mishmash of everything going around, focus, focus of all the things put in one pot and made into this esoteric study. This would lead me, if my maths is right, that this gentleman at 17 years of age, very young age, established an order which apparently was to be taken seriously. At 17 years of age, now I don't know, I'm 53 this year. I have studied all my life, I've had five different mentees. I was not allowed to come out in the open until five, six years ago. I underwent a huge amount of study, ritual, and performing magic in a way that had been taught to me primarily before I could even venture into trying to include anything of my own. And yet I see people around me that all due respect to them, I find what they are saying, doing and propagating 
ludicrous at the best of times. Another person that comes to mind, and again, um, it's just pinpointing here, is, is, is Michael Ford. Uh, don't get me wrong, he writes, writes well and writes a lot of things, but he seems to be well versed in all topics. And I don't know, I've been always taught Jack of all trades, master of fuck all, so I, I don't know. People again seem to follow him, yet I've never seen anything substantial of magic that has been um, brought to my attention. So once again, you know, a lot of things are there, a lot of, of variety, yet there doesn't seem to be the, um, the substance that holds it together and um, makes it credible enough for me to be able to say, yeah, you know what, I have to give you, I have to give you due respect. Can you sell books? Yes. Can you write? Yes. Can you do magic? Well, that's the thing. Then we come down to, to, to the actual organized religions that we have around us that have also, um, you know, always propagated a lot of different ideologies and, and um, tried to control people through fear, which is not something that we do. We never have and we never will. And then they bring challenges forth, saying that, you know, they've got this person that is, is, is possessed and this person that's got this problem and would I attend and I have refused to attend. Let me make it clear to the world, I have never refused to attend any situation with any given person that the Christian Church, the Vatican, the world of, of Christianity has ever brought to my attention. It is always they that have not come to the table they've always refused to sit down they've always refused to meet me halfway so that we can see actually where the proof of the pudding is and i can assure you that the proof of the pudding in their case is not in the eating because they have always faulted in everything they have put forward so this is not a rant by any means ma imaginary this is just me trying to tell you guys be careful who you follow be careful what you do be careful where you put your money be careful when people keep asking for this and that and subscriptions at a certain rate which are extortionate and yet they are delivering nothing of substance on that plate. A lot of people can say a lot of things but they need to be able to live the goods. Don't let yourselves be fooled. In a world where we are all seeking that extra something, it is very, very, very easy to get swayed and let down a path which is totally different to all that that you deserve and imagine.